Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, guys. If you have a Ford Focus, guys, and you have a code P0010, stay with us. We will explain what needs to be done to fix that code. We will show you how we will diagnose the system and uh, find out if that uh, that's a problem, uh, what's the problem with that uh, Ford Focus, guys, and how to fix it. Now we will demonstrate on a 2.0 engine, but doesn't matter which engine you have, guys. The procedure is about the same, guys, and we will explain what needs to be done. As you know, more than 200 videos will be made on this car and every car we get at the shop because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please guys subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment below, let us know if it was helpful or if you have any questions. Let's start on it now. So, all the tools and parts guys that we use including, uh, including the replacement part and the scanner, you can find the links in the description of the video below for your convenience. So I'm going to go inside now guys. Okay, I'm going to connect the OBD scanner to the OBD power, which is located right next to the steering wheel right here. And <coughs> we'll go ahead, plug it in. Perfect. And we're going to see, okay, what the problem is now. Okay, so let me go ahead, actually, I'll close the door so it doesn't ding at us. I'll explain the symptoms. We'll demonstrate how the engine light is on and uh, what to expect as well. Right here now guys, as you can see, engine light, okay, on that uh, Ford Focus will be on. Okay, let me zoom in quick so I can show you. Check it out, engine light is on. So, how we guys take care of that problem now? First, when uh, you get that code P0010, you may experience guys in uh, decreased horsepower, not in having enough power sometimes, rough idle, uh, rough engine operation and increased fuel consumption. You may experience one or all of the symptoms, it really depends, guys. And what I'll do, I'll turn the engine off. We'll turn the ignition switch on only. Now we're going to go ahead and connect the scanner here, guys. We're going to click OBD. It's connecting now. And it's going to tell us, okay, what codes we have. We have one code, so we'll just click, okay, yes. Now it gives you two different uh, modules, two different options. Usually it's under the second one for our Ford Focus. Always double check both, read the codes stored in both modules. That way you might have an extra code or be located at a different module. The code that we get is P0010 and it's a camshaft position actuator so what that tells us now guys a means specific thing if it says b it's a different thing and we'll explain now a means that this is on the intake side of the engine and we're going to go ahead and show you how to take care of that so i'm going to go ahead turn the engine off i turn the car off and we'll go outside open the hood and show you what needs to be done to fix that problem so with the hood being open, this is the 2.0 engine, but if you have the 1.0, 1.6 or different engine on Ford Focus, guys, even the diesels will be about the same way. Even I think the 1.5. Looking at the engine now, okay, you need to find your exhaust side, exhaust side, intake side. Intake manifold, guys, is the one that uh, when you follow your air filter box, the intake boot, it goes to the throttle body, and here is your intake where the uh, air gets in the engine. Exhaust side is where the uh, exhaust fumes and stuff like that exits the engine. So, in our case guys, we need to find the solenoid, camshaft solenoid for the intake side. So it will be on this side of the engine. From the engine here, this side. Exhaust will be from half of the engine, this side. So looking at it now guys, okay, check it out. Those are your camshaft position solenoids right here. That's the for the variable timing. This is the intake one guys. This is the exhaust one. Uh, so solenoid A is this one right here. So you have the wire, okay, that you need to disconnect, but now how you remove that thing? We have the video from start to finish that explain what needs to be done, guys. And if you need to buy a new one, we'll have the link in the description of the video below as, la as well. You will need to remove ignition coils, you need to remove your valve cover in order to remove that solenoid, otherwise you won't be able to. And I will recommend to get new seals as well, because those, they tend to develop leaks sometimes. So we have the video from start to finish, how to replace it if you want to. What we will do today, we'll go ahead and replace it quick and see if that fixes the problem so you know what to expect. But if you want to see the complete video, it's on our channel guys, check it out. So we replaced ours, uh, our variable timing solenoid on the intake side. What I'll do now guys, okay, I'll recommend to reconnect your OBD 
computer one more time uh, go ahead do that reconnect it uh, ours I already pulled the code and everything so we're ready to go I'll go I'll click go back and we're going to guys click right here erase codes check it out erase done what I'll do now I'll turn the ignition off I'll restart the car engine light is gone guys so you can see that definitely took care of our problem so thank you guys for watching please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time